Gardening is so relaxing. Weather and gardening, they go hand in hand, and that's why you'll see me gardening outside WLTX and sharing those plants on air with you so often. And I asked our Facebook group, WLTX Gandy's Gardeners, to share what brings them outdoors. My ran here didn't realize that my son-in-law had the gift of building raised beds until the pandemic. I garden for health the foods, exercise, and the joy and peace to see the plants grow and produce. This is Cynthia from Lee County, and I enjoy working in my flower garden because it relaxes me and it gives me time to meditate with God, and I also enjoy the blooms. And what better way to celebrate Earth than to start a garden? Linda shares this beautiful porch view. She actually built this house right behind her son's property and just enjoys gardening and making it look even more beautiful. Ashton has a gorgeous yard as well, and I love this story. They moved from Seattle to Columbia in 2019, and they're using recyclable materials to make that garden come to life. It's been one year and we now have more than a thousand members in our Facebook group growing tasty food, but it's so much more than that too. In 2019, nearly 10% of the world was exposed to extreme levels of food insecurity. It's a swing in the wrong direction after decades of improvement, and that's because of economic instability and climate change, according to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. And it's all connected. A recent study from that organization found that our food systems account for a third of all of the greenhouse gases that we admit responsible for climate change. And meat alone accounts for 14% of all of our greenhouse gases. We're always growing something tasty outside WLTX because we can. South Carolina's climate is mild enough to garden all year long. It's a rewarding hobby that promotes healthier eating and it can even help save the planet. I'm meteorologist Alex Calamia.